to <coughs> say something. It's probably not related, but in the wave lies the secret of creation. In the wave lies the secret of creation. I'm fascinated with materials. I don't know how engines work. It's embarrassing. We use technology and we don't know what's inside of it. We don't know how they work. That's frustrating to me. It's frustrating you can work the front end of the computer it should almost be a requirement. You must know the components. You must know the inside of the computer and the hardware of the computer. That should be fundamental to even being allowed to use the technology. So, <clears throat> IBM, some of the first computers were given, they were gifts to humanity and so before that, electricity, another gift. And so I'm at the library now hoping to uh, discover the history of invention. Uh, even what I watched a long uh, documentary about Frank Zappa. And this was, he, later in his life, he took to composing computer music. And I've never heard that stuff, but I'd be interested to hear it. So we, when I think of Zappa and his band, the Mothers of Invention, they're, they're electric aspects, but it's like a jam band and he's composing. I, I see him, you know, frazzled cigarette and papers because he's a composer and he's writing on paper. Then he'll use his instruments and he's arranging his band and he has enough choreography and they practice, they practice together. And I think that's what I reckon, that's what I am familiar with Zappa is his jam band, his group. They're together, they're practicing and that's part of the documentary. <coughs> and later in his life, he found computer music and He's like, I might as well compose this way. And he adapted pretty well to the new technology and then was able to do more. But in my estimation, the technology informs the sound. Thinking um, some of my favorite music is hip hop. And the turntable and the scratching. This is a tech, the tech comes first. The sound is second. Uh, the other influential artists, someone like 3-6 Mafia. I think in a large way, 3-6 Mafia and the Memphis sound that I guess that's associated with is like, is now extended out to this trap music. We'll hear consistent hi-hats. Jay Dilla would use his MPC too. I don't know who else. DJ Rashad. There's so many. Just whoever's coming off the top. Timbaland. And so each producer has their way of doing it. But what I rarely hear talked about is the importance of the technology. And the sound. <clears throat> the sound will continue to grow and change as the techno technological capabilities change. Well, just just thinking here about what why I love technology. You know, it, it informs what we can do. I drove here in a car. I'm kept warm by this machine. There's computer components. Uh, a chip shortage. Does anyone know how chips work? Silicone. They can hold memory. 
it's an <clears throat> oh so the point i wanted to make about ibm it maybe it was a gift to humanity and i think someone's upset that we abuse not abuse the technology it's made life improve in certain ways but it's that it wasn't available freely and this whole suppression of the free energy videos are coming up uh, tesla had a, a car idea it was a free energy car and um yeah, Tesla was clearly suppressed with all of his grand ideas because he wasn't planning to monetize them. So the book, this is by Walter Russell. You see his signature here. Walter Russell was an illuminate. <clears throat> he was very committed to awakening humanity. Okay, what does it say? Matter is light. Nothing is which is not light. So it's okay if I want to study the material science of what's in front of me, if it's important for me to learn engines, you know, study the life of Henry Ford, I'm not sure what I have to do to start to get to the, you know, he talks, Russell talks about <clears throat> cause and effect. But more so, you can't discover the cause by examining the effect. These are things like telescopes, microscopes, just going deeper and deeper into the way things unfold and the properties, what they look like. You cannot find the cause by looking at the effect. So, and there's a meditative aspect to this an inner wisdom sense and uh, working with a creator. Russell thought the worst thing that science had done was to remove the creator from creation. So we're constantly exploring creation, just what's here, pulling it apart, <clears throat> but we're missing, it's, 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 not, it's not a complete understanding because the cause which is the root, uh, we, we don't understand it, we don't know it, we don't look for it. Mm. So that's my idea here is, yeah, that, that nothing is which is not light. So as I can explore the material, you know, what's physically in front of me, if I don't know cars, if I don't know computers, if I don't know you know, it's a mystery. It shouldn't be a mystery. You plug something into the wall and then you can turn on a light bulb. That's history. That's not, that's, there's a history of science. And as we gain in technology in the industrial revolution, and now we're outperformed by robots. And as we learn about artificial intelligence, technology is, it goes, it, it builds, it's building. I personally don't know much about the way websites are put together. I mean, I know some, but thinking deeper on, you know, now there's cryptocurrency and it's going to interact with the internet of things. And I've been, I've been just, these, these thoughts go on and on. And I've been, you know, paranoid over this since 2012, 2014. 2010 when I finished high school I'm 30 years old. I'm almost 30 years old now and um so yeah technology improves but since we most regular people don't have an understanding of it we're not taught anything we don't even we're not even taught how to what to properly eat um we know there there is knowledge and it's not brought to us. We're kept in a perpetual state of confusion on purpose so that we're more docile, easy to control, and we're, we have no, no, ba no factual basis for improving life for others or ourselves and just in a fear of 
not having enough money. And that's frustrating. You know, it's really hard to study, but I'm sure it definitely, I mean, that's where a lot of us are at. It's hard to study when you're like in fear of getting evicted and being homeless or something like that. And just at the will of some bureaucracy. So that's all to say is, yeah, you want to start learning something. History, for me at least, is going to be a great place to start. Learn, learn the men who first originated the idea, or maybe it sprang to them, it, it came to them. It was their role on Earth to to give something, and so they give a technological advancement. No matter what means that was, whether it was divine inspired, whether it was gifted by a malevolent extraterrestrial race, whether they did satanic rituals to and made difficult karmic deals. Yeah, nothing's off limits, you know. Nothing is which is not light. So it's definitely okay to explore it. But it's unacceptable to me to not try to to learn. Yeah, yeah my car... My car shouldn't be a mystery. I'm not an asshole. I, I just didn't, I've never been an electronical engineer or a mechanical engineer, and it's important for me to try to learn it. No one taught me it. So this becomes an autodidact, a self-taught, self-learned adventure. And I'm trying to have fun with it. I don't wanna push things too quickly. And there's a new science, that's what this is. A science that will work. Our science has been unbalanced. Unbalanced everywhere. And so in the coming cosmic age, we gotta start where what we have, we gotta know what we use and um, improve it engage with the sustainable energy sources you know if we could have electronics that ran off like like tesla was doing the ether the electricity that's inherent in the air water water vapor the chemical components of the planet um the electricity that flows through life each tree each plant they may be radiating um and they may be they may have extra we all want to give each being wants to give its give more of itself for the upliftment and unfoldment of this adventure for other other beings it's a symbiosis. We want to share. So, of course, there's going to be new things on the horizon and want to be open to them. And at the same time, there's stuff from the old horizon. You know, it's a stitch work effort to bring the old with the new. You don't need to throw out the, ba throw out the bath water bitch, the bath water baby. Keep what works and then, as the phrase is, let go of what doesn't serve. So what doesn't serve humanity, and that could very well be this device I'm talking to now. This device itself could see its potential to be too harmful. But again, don't want to throw out the baby. Cert certain technologies we currently use may find themselves going away or being unnecessary over time as we l learn the core of them, the cause of them 
communicate with our own divine inspired internal inspiration, revelation, discovery, truth, and then we innovate. Since I was a child, I've always wanted to innovate, demonstrate, and um, invent. And to this day, I don't have inventions to my name. Yeah. Too poor. Too sad. Too drunk. Too dreamy. So, and uh, as Osho say, and uh, I continually reference back to, if you have built castles in the sky... Simply lay the foundation. I take that to mean if you've imagined a great vision, learn the base. Lay the base. Then over time, you work on it every day and you can build something nice. Build something together. Build something big. Sometimes it feels like, especially as men, you can feel alone. Alone with a dream. And what's beautiful about the interconnectivity of the internet, the web, um, it's a double-edged sword because we know it came from DARPA technology, it came from, you know, we're being monitored by the NSA. So that's one of the edges. The other edge is, shit, this is a tool and we've been able to connect <clears throat> many people, many new ideas, and I would not be the same person I was, if, I am, if I hadn't used the internet to my highest advantage to try to learn. And there's going to be a point where the internet and this phone, the computer technology, will stop serving for its highest good, but... Like I said, if you if I consider it as a tool and it, it's brought so many people together on a global consciousness level um, and I don't know if the word is enlightening, but the uh, informative, new concepts, new ways of thinking uh, for the collective. So many times the people who are around in real life, in real space may not agree. We're not in at least from where I sit, not seen a great community or friendship. Sometimes, usually with me, it's at a music event. I tend to like the people who are there. They're listening, they're pretty cool. And if only we spent more time together. In the old tribal days, you'd be around these people all the time. Now it's like you, you got this icebreaker. Maybe you don't even break the ice. Maybe you're there watching a concert and you sit alone, you're quiet, reserved. Because, and you, you never, you're not social. If you have Asperger's, you want to uh, stay reclusive, but it's not your, it's, it's a tribe, but you don't know everybody yet. But day-to-day -day life, put, <laughs> it's just me. Uh, I'm just saying, not everyone has the same opinions, ideas, and actions, activities. It's a it's a tapestry. And America is a melting pot. We're all different people, all different types of things. So, yeah, you may feel alone. At least on the internet, you can find like minds. Okay, that's it. I, I wrote a song with Rory Ferreira called At Home on the Homepage. Uh, for the Unheard Pro Board Warriors. And that song was just that. It's... I realized at a young age, I'm like, uh, I'm on a mission to find like minds like mine. And gaming is, the game. used to get into the gaming zone at nighttime. 
RuneScape Teleport from Verrock to Faldor. Used to play Wizard 101 with my pal Roar. So it's just that kind of thing. It's the MMO. Um, Alt Space VR. The internet's just cool. It's just cool to meet people around the globe. I'm on uh, I'm on OK Cupid and the passport feature. I'm getting matches in Singapore, Cambodia. I'm getting matches all over the globe. Africa, fucking. Oh, you speak Swahili. That's that's dope. Uh, matches in UK. And let's just say, internet is fun. Internet is fun. You meet kids your age from some other place. I've always loved the idea of a pen pal. I've never had a pen pal. I'm interested in having like a Russian pen pal or something. Anybody. If you're global, let me know. Through music, I've met friends in Germany, Canada, Australia, Puerto Rico. New Zealand, all kinds of places. And if it was just easier to learn languages, then you learn a light language. I got this video loaded up at home about the, the alphabet of the light language. That's fire, like, to think that we could have a, a one, I don't know. Doesn't need to be a one world language. I don't need a one world anything. But it's just, there's a lot to learn if you're gonna learn Chinese, if you're gonna learn the 20, 30, 50 different ac uh, accents, colloquialisms, dialects, the dialects of Chinese. So I appreciate people who, I'm not even bilingual, I can't even do two. Uh, buenas noches, good night. But to think if I could, you know, what if we could all, I don't know all, I don't know who, uh, certain people can, uh, can intuit angelic light language, they can talk it. <laughs> And then they can write light codes and drawings and then if is there a light a light language alphabet be neat to without Google Translate but in the mind in the mind's eye and in the in the core of the, the heart of your solar plexus and your connection in your lower dantian, if you could listen, if you could listen to people with your gut, <laughs> and you understand them, you know what's being said. Everything you need to know can be shared and communicated. And yeah, for now we have Google Translate, and we don't need to. Um, separate one from the other so that's the integration aspect so just a long ramble now i'm gonna keep exploring the work of Walter russell as well as light language and the new science the cosmic age uh, as well as the practical side of you know do i know where electricity comes from someone built this I've never, in my, I was born in the 90s, never in my life have I been without. You know, VHS tapes. You know how a VHS player works? Do you know how a cassette player works? You got a magnetic tape strip. And as it rolls across what? There's a vocabulary for the components in electronic devices. And yes, technology progresses. And as we get if you go back into historical uh, archival mm, 
maybe there's collections, you know, tube TVs, cathodes. Do you, do you know how the first TV was made? Do you know how the signal is transferred through antennas? If not, why not? Why don't you know it? At least those are the questions I'm asking myself. And, and if I, there's a degree of stubbornness to it too is yeah it's really e it's really easy to take my car into a shop and then pay some stranger of 200 percent markup on his labor for the parts he's going to install and he can fix my engine check engine lights on the car the car starts making noises. You turn it on, it's a cold day, and it goes... <laughs> vibrates your whole cabin. And... So I wasn't taught it. It's no excuse. Like I said, autodidact. Teach yourself. Set it in, in rap lyrics. Teach myself the seven liberal arts. So not everyone can be a master at anything, but of course you can try, as Walter Russell demonstrated in his life, uh, who mastered, I don't know if it was the five arts, master five arts, man. And uh, as Ivan Teller discusses, he, he mentioned something sticks with me now, is technology is an art form. Absolutely, absolutely. The canvas is the physical materials. It's the way that we meld metals together. It's the way that paint is mixed. Uh, it's the way that, it's the form, this thing I'm touching. It's the form of the object. But then as we go deeper, we have CRISPR, we have DNA replication technologies, we have cloning, we have secret space program, we have portals to the moon, to Mars. Um, and this is, this is government. But if we think about, yes, maybe things are in plain view and um, more is more is available if you look for it. Um, they need to make certain things publicly accessible. Maybe there's confusion and mistruth in the air, but are, are there discoveries to be made from your regular layman in the fields of science, technology, military technology, suppressed technology, hidden? And uh, history might have some answers. I don't think my public library here is going to have too much. But like I mentioned, Henry Ford, you know, he invented this. He invented this whip. It could be important for me to get a glimpse because there's no reason I should be so ignorant. I don't need to be so ignorant. YouTube has a lot of information. People talk about cars. You can fix things. All right. Invention. Remember, balanced interchange. Rhythmic balanced interchange. The law of money. The law of abundance, prosperity. Peace on planet Earth, sustainable technologies, permaculture, solar power, supply chain management, the printing press. Do you know how a compression mic works? Reverse reverse engineering it'd be uh, really important you know any technology that comes in front of your face i can gain spiritually all day 
then put a piece of plastic, a, a device, a, a electromagnetic radiating device in my lap and open it up and I'm not sure what I'm seeing and I have no idea. It's magic, right? The highest form of technology. Well, that's why we discuss about a simulation and a matrix. Um, it's the highest technology we have at the time to try to describe our world. And I think that'll go backwards too, just in the sense that The more I learn about the components, engines, you know, fossil fuels, that's how, how different is that? How does a fossil fuel thing <laughs> combust and it's, and it's making energy? You know, you have a generator. Do you have a generator? No? Gun technology, rockets, propulsion, rocket science. You know, I remember at Amazon, I just asked the guy for technique. An older gentleman, he was, he was just pretty fluid in his movements. And we were wrapping pallets with, with wrap. You know, it's not a, no electronic at all. It's, it's a device. No, it's a, so the saran wrap is on a pole and you roll, you go around the pallet and you're wrapping things up and then, and then you fold over the corners and you have this pole in your hand and you're rolling over the corners and then it's, you shift and it's a nice dance you can do. So I just asked for help. I was like, hey, how you do that so nice? And he goes to me, it's not rocket science. <laughs> and that was pretty funny to me. Cause I'm like, man, even rocket science wouldn't be rocket science to a rocket scientist. You could be giving a tutorial on literal rocket science and say, uh, to express how easy it is you're like it's not rocket science and you're like well actually this how many jokes you think like that are made in nasa and all this bullshit about space is fake then we got freeman fly he follows rocket launches so this is a parallel reality aspect more with ivan teller secret space program if you were to consider maybe the flat earth model and the round globe earth model space they they coexist simultaneously so it's not either or it's both and that's the where the flat earthers get it wrong is it's neither neither or it's neither it's nothing it's both uh, but yeah, there are people going to be at NASA who are doing rocket science. They're doing, they're using math to propel objects into space with fuel and they make it out of the light, lightweight materials. And uh, sure I'm poor and looking for my next meal, but no reason you shouldn't try to learn it. Do you know how airplanes fly? Airplanes are real, real, right? You think airplanes go through portals? You think you're in an airport and uh, So too. Get into an airport and you just teleport to the next place and then the stuff you see in the sky is an illusion to you on the ground. But in the airport, something else happens. Nothing's actually flying. You can make up whatever the fuck you want 
is so long as you're ignorant about it. The more you learn, the more you dive into the, the information well, the rabbit hole, the more you'll discover and hopefully be able to change. Ignorance is fun, but it's also wrong. All right. Peace forever.